Hey, what's up, Bulls fans? JR here today, and we are talking Codex Chaos Knights. That's right, we got everything that you need to run Evil Trader Chaos Knights. If you want to commit both heresy and tech heresy at the same time, sell your soul to the ruinous powers, this is the book you'll need. And as you can see laid out here, we also have the Chaos Knights data cards. Uh, these are, as you might expect, uh, just like every other data card. I've fanned a few out for display purposes, but uh, as you can see, they give you all your stratagems, all your uh, all your different pacts and damnations that you'll have for your your uh, dreadblades, which we'll get into in a minute. Basically, if it's a rule in the book that you might want to reference, it's in the data cards. Uh, but that's not the reason you're here. The real reason you guys are here is to take a look at this sweet, sweet uh, heretical tome. Uh, as you can see, this is a uh, rather thin codex. It's a counterpart to the uh, to the regular Imperial Knights Codex, uh, and it is 72 pages long, uh, and that's counting the tactical objectives. There is not a ton of extra stuff here. Uh, what it does have is some some of the standard stuff that you'd expect from a regular Codex. It's got your, your pretty typical lore on all of the different uh, uh, Chaos Knights, and it talks about, like, Here's how you do the heraldry for a, a chaos knight. Here's, you know, a couple of different houses. They've got two different kinds of houses. They've got the iconoclast houses, which are a bit reminiscent of like flesh eater courts. They're chaos. They're knights that have fallen to chaos, um, but they still like uphold all the heraldry and the rules, and they they think that they're glorious even though they're corrupt and ruinous. And then you have the infernal houses, which are the houses of the dark mechanicum. Uh, these are the, the crazy tech heresy knights. They're possessed. They, like, got demons and all kinds of cool stuff. And then, of course, we have Dreadblades, which are the renegade answer to Freeblades. Um, they list a couple of um, uh, specific famous Dreadblades and their, their knights, much like you had the, the Chainbreaker. Uh, you've got uh, a, a few different ones here. You've got uh, uh, Decima, Incarnate Slaughter. The Gilded King, the Sire of Doom, uh, and then a few others, including even a, a significant Dreadblade Armiger right here. Uh, you get your map, which now includes Fallen Night Worlds, and then you get into the, the timeline and all that good stuff, leading up to uh, where the Fallen Knights start coming into play in the uh, uh, M41 and how all that stuff goes down. Now, uh, when we get into the units, uh, there are two new uh, data sheets in this codex. Uh, you've got the Knight's Desecrator and the Knight's Rampager. Uh, these are both from the new Knight kit, which we'll also be going through in another video. Uh, and then everything else kind of gets lumped in because they really are just like knights, but chaos. Uh, and so <clears throat> instead of having like the the you know, dozen or so different things that all come out of the same kit. It's basically one data sheet that, that says, hey, this is what we do. And as we get into the rules, you'll see um, uh, they have uh, uh, war dogs, which are the Armagers, and they can be made into either the auto cannon uh, Armagers, the Meltagun and, and uh, Thermal Spear Armagers, the, you know, they, they basically it's like what you'd expect, except all the kits have been condensed into one. Um, who, then you have the Knight Despoiler, which is the generic, the normal, like, Questorus class knight, but chaos and evil. And then you've got the Knight Tyrant, which is your Dominus class knight, or basically your Castellid, but also chaos and evil. Uh, same weapons, all that jazz. Uh, then we have the two new kits. Here we have the Knight Desecrator, and then we have the Knight Rampager. Uh, the Knight Desecrator has uh, some cool laser destructors and Thunderstrike gauntlets, uh, and is, is kind of you know, a, a more all-rounder, and is like the um, <clears throat> uh, is like the the like leader knight that that lets you reroll ones if if you have your armagers around. Uh, then the uh, knight rampager is a melee knight that will go crazy uh, if if it has uh, if if it hits and does sixes, it does extra hits. Uh, it will tear through things. Uh, but it has to get up close in order to do so. You also got to look at all their weapons. Uh, it's knight weapons, basically. And that is pretty much it. I want to talk a little bit about the special rules. Um, as you can see, you've got your two options. You've got an Iconoclast household or an Infernal household, and that's it. You get 
If you're an Iconoclast house, you get Conquerors Without Mercy. If you're an Infernal house, you get Demonic Surge, which can give you uh, one of three different effects. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, the, all the different houses that are represented in Imperial Knights have a little more variety. Uh, Chaos Knights have much more evil. Uh, stratagems, you get, um, let's see, 7, 15, 23, 8, yeah. 23 different stratagems, they're all pretty familiar. Uh, if you, you know, they're, they're, they're the night ones, then you get your Dreadblade Pacts and Damnations. You get a whole bunch of artifacts, so uh, if you want to make your own, like, custom knight that is designed for a single purpose, you can do it. Uh, I love, I don't know that it's necessarily the best, but my favorite one is the Teeth That Hunger, uh, because you're going to have a knight bite. Uh, I mean, yeah, they say it's for a chainsword, but come on, let's, let's be honest. This is obviously to put, like, a big bitey jaw on one of the knight heads, and that's that. And then you get your warlord traits, your points, your tactical objectives, and that's it. It's a uh, thin codex, but a powerful one. I'm sure you'll be seeing plenty of these new Chaos Knights in the wild. Uh, that's, that's all there is to say about it. I'm JR. This has been the Bell of Lost Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.